All right, good morning, good morning, everybody. Wake up, and if you're not up yet, I'm going to make sure you're awake with the sound of these cars out here this morning. So here we are. Look at this race car, all right? I've always wanted to be a race car driver, always. I thought about what color would I paint it, what number would I have, and I have this lovely lady who made that dream come true. Good morning, Jordan. Thank you so much for joining us. How are you? Fantastic. So what got you into this? How does a female want to become a race car driver? What was that one thing that got you? I had a few female drivers to look up to as a kid. Um, one of my sponsors being one of them. Uh, oh. And my dad also raced for 20 years too. So it just kind of was given to me. Yeah, it's a family thing, a community yep. thing. Absolutely. Yep. I mean, you really bond working on the car. How long does it take to build this? What goes into it? Well, we start tear down right after gun season, so about <laughs> December time, and then we get it ready for about March. Okay, so this is a big year for you. You've been racing for how many years, first of all, and then what does this year mean to you? Uh, for 16 years total, nine years in a big car. Um, this year is a big year. My grandma passed away in November, and I'm looking to get a championship for her. So This is for her, and you yes. are not far away. No. Rumors have it, I hear one point away potentially or what five, does that mean five, five? okay five so tell me what that all means for us that don't know uh one position or one point per position okay um so i just gotta be within five places of the car behind me so wow okay so this may be a crazy question but uh slingshot engaged is that a thing that you guys actually do or is that just in the movies uh <laughs> I try. I try, but it's definitely in the movies. Not that easy. <laughs> well, we are going to be here cheering you on. What day do you race again if we could watch you? Uh, we'll be here Saturday for the fair. Um, and then after that, it's every Saturday during the summer. Okay. So Saturday, what time? Uh, we start at 6. Okay. We'll be here. I'll cheer you okay. on. Look at this. Number 12, you guys. Number 12. Ladies, you can do anything that you want to do. All right. Here we go. Let's take a look at that forecast here as we go through our day favorite part my favorite part is the fact that that humidity is gone weather 180 to my favor 72 degree dew point on monday that just all of a sudden crashed to a 48 degree dew point by yesterday i'll take it i like those canada temperatures just a little bit more i'm a little getting a little tired of summer here but that's all right temperatures yesterday did climb into those mid to upper 70s and that's exactly where we should be for this time of year right on par both the highs and the lows for our day yesterday now this morning we're waking up just a little bit crisper cooler by a few degrees compared to 24 hours ago but you could tell that already i'm in a jacket i haven't worn a jacket in the morning in quite a while so anywhere from the upper 50s to those mid 60s as you head out the door this morning winds are still a little breezy i'll say they're quiet right now but they are gusting up to about 15 miles per hour on occasion out of the west and they're going to pick up once again this afternoon gusts near 30 are possible but i liked the breeze yesterday it was perfect with that sun beating down on you the temperatures warming but that refreshing breeze keeping you cooler and the fact that it was a refreshing breeze is because those dew points are much much better now so a lot of sunshine to be had throughout northeast wisconsin throughout the entire state up to the north where all of our weather usually comes from and practically throughout the entire united states looking fantastic fantastic this morning because of these two high pressure systems that have just built in dominated the area and they're not going anywhere even tonight so as our temperatures start to rise we're going to get a little bit toastier than yesterday into the low 80s but beautiful sunshine only a few passing clouds from time to time i can see the sunrise now it's getting brighter and better out here already and that's going to be the case tomorrow except for a little bit more heat pushing in. as you can see those low pressure systems kind of form in the middle of the midwest there and they kind of rock up those temperatures to the triple digits into the dakotas and that's going to give us near 90 degrees potentially so keep that in mind that thursday and friday that heat's going to be building friday night chances for some rain do roll in very light chances it wants to stay to the northwest of us and then of course all eyes on that Labor Day. Nobody wants to work on Labor Day, so we want the perfect weather and we're going to get it. Sunshine and low 80s are headed our way. So beautiful day today. Summer heat hanging on. Crisp and cool by this evening. You can shut that AC off and open those windows and enjoy it. Tomorrow a little bit warmer, but still that humidity holding off until your Friday and just a perfect holiday weekend. Nobody can be mad at me, so come on out to Shano Speedway. This is where I'll be hanging out and all the stuff going on here throughout the weekend. Brittany, I sure am not mad at you about that forecast at all. It's just so much fun watching you have so much fun out there. Oh my gosh, we'll check in with her in a little bit, but still ahead. Of